Hey everybody! Today we're going to learn a cool art technique that you can do in your room, in your bed even, if you just need to kind of get out some stress or some anxiety or you just want something to kind of focus your intention on. And the thing we're going to do today is learn how to do a mandala. You might have heard this term from an adult coloring book or another like art channel. Um, and mandalas are used a lot in the art world and a lot of people get these really ornate beautiful mandalas that are like flowers or Celtic designs doesn't need to be that complicated. So do not be intimidated by the things you've seen. Mandala simply means circle in Sanskrit. So we're gonna learn how to do a simple mandala that can be a great calming technique. First thing you need to do, draw a circle. If you're like me, you can't do it on your own, you want something to trace. Luckily, there's a lot of circles here at the hospital. If you have an art therapist, we can get you something like this, that's round that you can trace. But if you don't have an art therapist handy, just grab a cup from your nurse. You put it down, you trace it. You have your starting place. From here, you can pretty much do whatever you want, which is my favorite thing about the mandala. You can make one that's really symmetrical. You can make one that's just scribbles. Pick your art material. Today, I'm gonna to use these pastels. And then you just want to pick where you're going to start. I usually decide if I want to start at the edge or in the center. And I kind of work my way either in or out. Today I think I'm going to start in the center. I do a dot and I try and pick up things that maybe are a little bit circular in shape if I'm starting in the center. It could be a flower design. So you just keep working your way out. Maybe you want to draw a sunflower, kind of bring some sunshine into your art. Take your time, just do it one little bit at a time. And again, don't really worry about if you don't have an idea at first, just think about where you maybe want to work, how you want to go, where your design is going to take you. If you really feel stuck and you don't know what to do, one of my favorite things to do is what I call a scribble mandala. For that, it's sometimes good to have a bigger shape. And you just sort of do scribble designs. You can try and stay in the lines, or if you're feeling daring, you can go completely outside the nice little frame that you've drawn. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. What's great about this circle shape is it does give us a frame if we need to kind of feel like we have a space to draw in. It also kind of helps us focus our attention. And that's what's great about circles. So they have a center and they have a focus. So it's a good thing to kind of explore and have fun with and there's no right or wrong way to do it. However you choose to do it is the right way for you. Enjoy and I can't wait to see what you do.